Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So one of the upgrades that I like to do in my cars is actually have some nice seats. So I wanted to get an upgrade for the car. So I'm about to flip the camera around and show you the upgrade that I've purchased. Now they're not in the best of condition. The seats I've purchased actually were stored in a lockup for the last five or six years in a workshop with cars being worked on. So they're dusty, they're grimy, but there's a good seat underneath them. So I wanna go and show you those. We're gonna go to clear those up in this video. Okay, so here are the new seats, or here's one of them anyway, because I've just put it up on here so I can start working on it. So you can see there we've got the John Cooper Works logo. So these are actually first gen JCW seats. Now they're an optional extra. They weren't standard on all JCWs. And I think there are a few different leather color variations in terms of having panels in the center potentially but this is sort of the standard full leather version you can see here although they're lovely from afar when we get up close they're very I mean, looking there very grimy this isn't in great condition you can see down here we've got change bits of rubbish the leather if we come in here close got all little marks on it now i expect all of this for seats of this age um, and with some of the cleaning tips that I'm going to give you in this video, you should be able to get your seats looking tip top and new, hopefully. So all these sort of marks in the leather, we should be able to sort of cover up a lot of this and get these looking like new again or as close as. So I'm going to give them a full top to tail, whether it's the leather, whether it's all the metal work and get these shiny and new. So these seats are made by Sparco for Mini, or were made, Mini don't make them anymore, but they were made by Sparco. So they're based on the Sparco Milano. And I've actually had a set in my R53, which I'll put up on screen now. And they're really nice seats. I think they work with that R52 because they're sort of time period correct. So rather than putting a modern seat in that car, I think it'd be quite nice to actually have a period correct seat. And the leather colour actually matches the rear seats in that already because it's already got full leather. So it'll actually match the rear seats, which is a nice addition to have. So I think, first of all, what I need to do is just give them a bit of a, a hoover just to get all these bits out, pick all the little bits of change out and get all, as much of the dust as I can off these before we start cleaning them. Okay, so I want to just get these areas cleaned up. So I've got some quick interior detailer. And you probably just use a bit of soapy water to be fair. All I want to do is spray that on, agitate it with a brush, just try and clean up as much of this as I can. So you can already see a lot of the grime coming off on the brush itself. You just want to try and get some of that surface level dust off. I'm going to add too much water in and cause any sort of future rust issues, but we'll make sure all this is dried off anyway, so there shouldn't be any problems using something that's a bit wet. We'll just agitate it all around this so you can see. We've got some missing trim pieces. So we're going to try and locate some of those as well as we go along. So this is really satisfying already, just seeing these plastics come up a lot cleaner. Then just a microfiber cloth, just clean down, try and lift some of that residue off. You might not get it on your first pass, you might need a second clean once you've wiped it down, but at least we can start to see already that cleaning up nicely. So there's a bit more grime in the back. Let's get the cleaner in, agitate again. You might find there's a bit of grease in there as well, build up over time. So it might need a degreaser as well, but at the moment, this quick detailer just seems to be doing the job. You don't want to use too, and nothing strong that can damage any of the leather. So this is made for interiors. So it should work nicely. It does seem to be doing a good job so far. Okay, so we're going to do the exact same on this side. Just a quick spray down of everything. Maybe a bit much there, but then just again agitate it all because that other side is looking a hundred times better already just from this quick clean. So again, just agitate it all and get in 
There's lots of dust and dirt that builds up over time on a lot of these parts. Try not to get it on the lever, but it's not gonna have too much of an effect. So I'm probably gonna replace these for the ones that are already on the car because they're in a, these are a bit sun bleached. But you can see that works. He's already cleaning up a lot better. Okay, next up, so we want to clean the seat. So there's lots of grease marks from where the uh, previous owner touched these um, while they're in the garage, etc. So I've got some auto care leather cleaner. So you're supposed to give it a good shake. And obviously test it on a patch underneath or on the back just to check that it doesn't take the colour away, depending on the leather that you're using. And what we do is spray this liberally all over the seat. Then take a dry cloth, and just wipe that in, agitate it on the surface of the seat. So you're not scrubbing, but you're just making sure there's plenty of leather cleaner over the seat. And what we need to do is just leave that for a couple of minutes uh, and then we use just damp cloth just to clean that off. So we'll just give that a wipe down and then we'll give it a couple of minutes to dry. Okay, next step is to just get a damp cloth and just wipe the seat over. Now I did put quite a lot spray on this so it could need me to just wash this cloth out but let's give it a quick wipe over you can see the dirt starting to come off onto the cloth already already you can see a massive difference in the color of the leather just by doing that then all you do is once you've wiped that all over is just to allow it to naturally dry before we move on to the next step. Okay, so you can see just here and down here we've got some scratches in the leather. So you can obviously send your seats off, but a cheap fix that I found is this colour restorer. So it's like a leather balm that you put in. It's not a 100% fix, but what you do get a bit on a cloth and just massage it in so obviously test it beforehand I've already tested this elsewhere on the car and you just rub it in to the leather and then you let that dry and then buff it off once it's dry so up here you've got that big mark you can already see without it drying it's already starting to take your eye away so all you do put it on like that let that dry and then just buff the lever up with a dry clean cloth okay so you can see there that's dried so the marks were there and a big scratch there buff it off with a clean cloth and there you can go see all that damage now that was up there and there so you can still see the scratches slightly in the leather but you have to be looking for them it takes your eye off it i think that's a really nice way of cleaning up the seats okay so what we've just done with that obviously leather stuff we can now do all over so there's all little marks over these seats we're going to do the same and put that color stuff all over these little spotches let it soak in dry and then we'll polish the whole seat Okay, so if we just look comparisons, so this one on the right is one I haven't touched yet. So you can see we've got lots of marks on the leather, grease, dirt, scuffs, loads of marks. Then this one is the one that I'm part of the way through cleaning, so I still haven't treated the leather yet. So just waiting for that to arrive in the post, so I'll do that tomorrow and show you that stage. But you can see what a difference it's made just cleaning that up. I think a bit of steam into this here as well. We'll just sort those creases out in the leather at the top, but 
you can see, ignore the mess in the background, but you can see straight away the difference in the two seats just by spending half an hour cleaning those up, touching up all the marks, etc. So I'm gonna do this seat now. Okay, so we're nearly there. So it's the next day now. So I just had to wait for my uh, leather care farm, well, not sponsored at all. It's just auto glim, something I've used in the past. Now I'm by no means a leather restorer or anything like that. So everything in this video is just the hints and tips of what I've done just to get my seats perfect. If you are an expert, I'm sure you know much better than me. Um, but these are just what I've learned in the past in terms of having cars. So you need a sponge applicator. Go shake this bottle really well. Pour some on and just polish it into the cloth. And just get that farm. And this is just feeding it and it will help protect it. So obviously in the uh, yesterday part of the video, we did color correct some parts of the seats. Now some of that may come off with this application. If it does, then once this is all dry and you've polished this balm off, then you can just go and touch up those little minor scratches again. And the good thing I love about these seats and it will come up well when we clean, like put this bar on is this John Cooper Works logo. Just stands out so well. Just get it all into all the edges because you will notice if you've missed a bit. Because it does, because it's feeding. It's, uh, it does put a little bit of a sheen on the seat. So it's nice just to make sure you get it all over. Don't miss any bits. And this will help this leather last a good 10, 20 years. Obviously do this every so often when you're cleaning the seats and it just tops it up. So get, even where all that change and dust and dirt came from, just get your applicator. If you haven't got one, I'm sure a microfiber will probably do the job just applying this. But this is just one of those cheap foam applicators for polish, etc. What I have done as well, and um, that I haven't shown on video, is all the little bits of black trim. I've just gone over with a bit of black trim stuff. So now you've covered the seat in the barn, you've got to leave that to dry. Once it's dried, we get a cloth off and just buff it. Okay, so the instructions just say to let it soak in for a few minutes and then buff with a cloth. So I've just got a clean microfiber cloth. We'll buff. And these seats are looking a million dollars now compared to where we started. Amazing the difference, just a, I mean this video hasn't been long. That's literally the amount of time I've put into it is the length of this video. So there's no extra hidden bits behind the scenes other than me doing the backs, just because if I'm doing the fronts, then I'll probably turn around doing the exact same process on the back to show you. That's it. So that leather is now fed and protected. So you can go over, check out all your little scratches and things, just make sure you've covered all those up. Or if you haven't got any then, all you've done is given them a clean and that's brilliant as well. But I don't think it will come up on camera, the difference between how this looked when it started and where it is now, but just looking over it, it's night and day difference. Really impressed with the few things that I've done. And it was really simple and easy. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this. It's literally just products that I've used over the years, put it all together into a video. So if you've got any damage on these that is a bit further gone than what you can see here, say you've got a little tear or a little rip, you can buy things like these leather repair kits. If you feel confident, watch some YouTube videos. I'm not gonna teach you how to do this because I've never done it myself. But if you don't feel confident, then you can always take it to a car upholstery specialist or a leather specialist. Even people that repair leather sofas, if you've got one of those local, I'm sure they'd be able to help you out because leather is leather at the end of the day. You could take it along to them and get them to just fix any, dam any damage. And I don't think it's as expensive as you'd think it would be. Especially when you look at the cost of what these seats are right now. A little fix on it, if you can get a bit of a rope repair a bit cheaper, is actually worthwhile. And 
this seat that you're looking now is the best of the two seats. I have got a little bit of damage on the other one, which I'm gonna to attempt to repair with this kit. I'll show you the outcome of that maybe in a new, another video. But if not, it'll be going to a leather specialist and I'll get them to fully restore. Just that patch of leather, because there's just a bit of damage sort of here on the other seat. So if you found today's video useful, please hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get alerts because the next video will be how to install these seats into your R52. Now it's the same process wherever you've got an R50 and R53 as well. So if you're interested in fitting aftermarket seats, OEM seats, it's all the same process. It's just a little extra step if you're going for something like this that doesn't have airbags in it. So we'll cover that off as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.